All right, guys, I know I haven't talked to you in a while because I've been so busy doing so many things, but football season is back. You know, let me tell you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said to myself, I can't take it anymore. Everybody that comes to Playmakers 88, all they want to talk about is number 88. That's right, C.D. Lamb. Because all they're talking about on TV each and every day is the Armageddon of the Dallas Cowboys because C.D. Lamb hasn't signed yet. Stop, please. Please, please stop. You have pulled me out with this mess. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I am T.I. Red. T.I. Red. Tired of hearing the mess. Everybody's spelling doomsday for Dallas because C.D. ain't in camp. C.D. went and took all the Dallas Cowboys off his I, I, social media. I, I don't understand why guys do that. Like, what the hell really does that mean? Does that mean you will never play for the Dallas Cowboys again? No. It's just, it, 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 it's game. It's all, I call it child's game in a man's world. You think Jerry Jones cares about you swiping your, 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 your social media of the Dallas Cowboys? No. It doesn't hurt Jerry Jones one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. As a matter of fact, they just declared the Dallas Cowboys worth 10 Billion dollars. That's a B. Billy Billy. Not an M. Not 10 million. Not a milli milli. But a 10 billion. That's a B. Billy Billy. 10 billion dollars. Double digits in the billions. Everybody needs to hear this because everybody on TV only wants to see the Cowboys fall. The Cowboys is back on TV again. As I'm sitting here talking to you, here it comes back on TV again. When will we see CD? Let me tell you when we will see CD. First, let me tell you this. You do understand when we're talking about this kind of money that nothing's going to get done until the, the slipper falls off Cinderella until that carriage she's in turns back into a pumpkin. That's the last hour of the moment. That's the last hour of the moment. Then a deal will get done. Trust me, CD Lamb ain't going anywhere. Jerry Jones knows this. So all of this, C.D. Lamb, he's, he's going to play this year. Stop! Hell yeah, he's going to play this year. Because if he doesn't play, he'll be the most stupid person I've ever seen in my life. And I love C.D. I love him. I know he's just doing business. Everybody needs to understand he has to do business. Let's, let, me, let me break it down for you. If, C, if Jerry's offering CD 35 and he wants to get 36, he wants to become highest paid non-quarterback or whatever the number may be, the highest paid non-quarterback, you think CD will say, well, he only offered 35. I'm going to hold out the whole year until I get 36. If he did something like that, it would be the worst decision ever made in the NFL. No way you lose $35 million this year that you couldn't make up no matter what. You could never make that $35 million up, even if you got a deal the next year worth $36. You see what I mean? Worth $37? Worth $38? Worth $40? So come on, people. Come on. Let's stop that bull and stop that mess. He will play football. And to all of you people out here who are saying the Dallas Cowboys have no chance of winning the Super Bowl because C.D. Lamb ain't in camp. C.D. and Dak has enough chemistry that when he gets back, it'll click again on the football field just like that. C.D. is a hard enough worker that he will be in shape. If C.D. was a lazy slob, then I would be scared and worried because he'll come into camp out of shape no matter what. And, 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 and it'll take time for him to get ready. But he's not that dude. He wears the number 88. And we always stay in shape. Look at me right now. Look at me. I look, stop playing. This is what 88 does. You'll never see a bad looking 88. We always look like we look. You understand what I'm saying? So CD will be fine. And he'll get in the camp. When that carriage turns back to a pumpkin, they'll come running down the aisle 
and he and Jerry will get holy matrimony together right there. I do. I do. Let's sign this deal and get the plan. Everybody on TV wants to see the Cowboys fail because they're top of the mountain. I just told you it's $10 billion. CD understand Jerry Jones, rather he plays or not this year, won't lose. Let me tell you this. $1. Now $1. Now, one dollar will holler goodbye to Jerry Jones. Thirty-five million will holler goodbye to C.D. Lamb. It's business, people. It is business. Let this man do his business. I'm, I, I, I must admit, I love what I heard from Tyreek Hill. Because Tyreek Hill gave his fan base hope. He said, I want my agent, Drew Rosenhaus, to do his business. But I told him, whatever you do, don't get me traded. Because on this team, we're going to win a Super Bowl, and I love it right here in Miami. I, I, I wish CD would do that instead of scraping his account of all Dallas Cowboys. Let me give my Cowboy fans some hope. Because they know they're just running rampant with this because I haven't been on TV lately. But when I get back on TV in a few weeks, I'm going to shake this shit up. Because I am T.I. Red. I'm tired of hearing this mess. In 92, I held out. I held out after winning receiver of the year. I held out after winning, 90, winning, uh, winning Pro Bowl MVP. I held out until the Wednesday before the Sunday game. I caught five passes for, for about 90 yards in that game against Washington. We won that game and we went on to win the Super Bowl. So away with all you chumps who are talking about the Cowboys have no chance to win the Super Bowl unless they get CD and Cam right now. Shut the hell up. I'm tired of it. I can't take it anymore. I want him in camp. He needs to be in camp. We want to get him in camp. But you guys got to stop this over-exaggeration. And you got to start doing homework because there have been guys that held out all, uh, as late as I did that let, that, that wins to before Sunday and teams still have, have, still have had success. Nobody's going to say that to you because nobody wants to give you the reality. They only want to spell doom. They only want to spell doomsday for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not just going to hit you on the Dallas Cowboys in my return to talking to you because there's so much more to talk to you about. I want to hit you also. On Brandon Ayuk. If I was Brandon Ayuk, I would be right now in my prayer closet saying, oh God, please God. I know I ran my mouth and said some stuff. I know I put myself in a position right here. But oh God, please God, don't send me away from the 49ers to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers or anywhere else. And you know, you know, oh my God. You, you know how much I love Mike Tomlin. Well, how much I love Mike Tomlin. One of my best friends is on the coaching staff at Freda Roberts for, for, for the Pittsburgh Steelers. But if I'm Brandon Ayuk, I'm in my prayer closet. I'm in my prayer closet saying, I'm just talking, God. Don't leave. Don't get me out of San Fran. Please don't get me out of San Fran. You're joking. You, I, I, I told Debo the same thing. Now, Debo's my dude. I don't talk to Brandon, but De Debo's my dude. And I say to Debo, don't leave that dude, Kyle Shanahan. Don't leave Kyle Shanahan. And I'm going to say to Brandon Ayuk, you would be crazy to leave Kyle Shanahan. I would leave a few million dollars on the table to stay with Kyle Shanahan. That's just the reality. Because he's a master. He's a master. In, a, in the San Francisco, you can, you, you can get all of that money and you're still going to be the third or fourth option. So that's all of that money without all that pressure. When they trade you and you go get big money, all the pressure becomes to you. It, it comes to you. I'll give you another example on that. I gave you an example of me holding out all the way to the Wednesday before that Sunday game and we won a Super Bowl. I'm going to give you an example for Brandon Ayuk. 
I told the same stuff to Alvin Harper. I said, Harper, we can do this together here for years, man. Do not leave. Harp wanted to go. Harp, Harp wanted his opportunity at leading his own team, and he went to Tampa Bay to try to recreate what we had in Dallas. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Brandon, if you need Alvin Harper's phone number, call me, and he will tell you, don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. It would be the worst decision of your life to go anywhere, anywhere. No, 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 I'll give you one place that I'll let you go to that if you're going to leave San Francisco, it's the only one place I would go if I was you, and that would be Kansas City. That's the only one that's tantamount to calling plays like Kyle Shanahan is Andy Reid. That's the only team that you can go to and become ooh, a whole nother brother. And you won't be the first target because that's Travis Kelsey. So you won't have that pressure. I'm telling you, man, y'all got to stop letting these dudes handle y'all world. These agents and people that are talking to these teams and then you get, you got to get, you got to handle your, you are a business and you got to handle it. And you know darn well leaving San Francisco ain't smart or great business. I just, I, I, I didn't mean to come back talking like this. I didn't mean to come right back talking to you guys and going crazy about things. But this, this is crazy. CD ain't going nowhere. And we still got time. CD will get in the camp. And the Cowboys will get rolling. So the Cowboy fan base, stop letting these people run you crazy and stop running to my restaurant, Playmakers 88, and barring me down with all of this mess, this rhetoric, this rhetoric that means nothing in the end. Because as soon as that slipper falls on Cinderella, CD will be coming to camp. And Brandon Ayuk, you better hope, you better hope that you can't cut that deal or nothing works out with the Pittsburgh Steelers or anybody else. Because if you if it does, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll get paid. You'll get paid because you're going to get paid anyway. And you deserve your money, just like CD. He deserves his money. But I'm talking about your career. I'm talking about leaving your mark. You understand? Oh, and you'll win in Pittsburgh. But I'm talking about your career. I'm talking about leaving your mark. It's best left in San Francisco. And I, I, I don't even know why I tell you that. Because San Francisco has been a thorn in my side for the last few years when it comes to my Dallas Cowboys. But the reality is, you are a brother. And you are a brother, fellow, wide receiver. It's my duty to give you the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the gospel.